all right so welcome back again my name is jesse and in this wonderful and exciting tutorial we're trying to see some ways in which we can download uh, files from from the internet right from github specifically so one one nice thing about this app is that if you want to download a file apart from using clone git clone you can also download it with python so that's what we're trying to do and if you go to your the repository that you want to download and the files there's like i have some files here and i want to download one of them if i click on this so there is this raw here right if you click on the raw it changes the url and then it appends it with this structure so we have raw github user content and then the name of the repository and then the part of the file so that is what i need in case i want to download it so i'll copy this and i'll show you some ways you can download it right so i'll come back again and i'll first install package I need so pip install request right so I think now request is part of the standard library and then we get so these are the two packages that we need to install on our system to help us with it right so I already have it so it's done then I'll start writing some code so I'll just go back again and let's see the first method so we'll be doing everything in Python so I'll create a file called um, util.py And then I'll open it with VS Code. So this is the code you're working through. And then we start writing through it, right? So how do you work with it? So we'll be first using request, which is a popular library. So request gives you the option of accessing this URL. And not just uh, as the name goes request, it allows you to be able to fetch data, right? To make a request to an HTTP endpoint. So I just pass in that URL here as my variable, right? This is it. And in case I want to download, I can just go with uh, this option. So R for request, we can call it as my response, and then request dot get. Let me make it bigger. Yeah, this is better. Then I'll pass in my URL, right? So I could, as you could see, there is a URL that you are supposed to pass and some parameters. So we just go with URL. Perfect. And then if I go with re response, right, I can just get the status code of it. So let's save it. And then we can run it inside VS Code. Here. Yeah. Hopefully it, it doesn't uh, go back with the arrow. So I'm switching to command prompt. Perfect. So inside here I have my utils.py, right? So in case I want to run it, I can print this one out. So let's print this entire one out so that you actually see the code right this is these are basic stuff so python then utils.py if i run this now we have 200 that means that it was successful and now since it was successful i can now download a particular file right so i can just do that with this so with open then i'll pass in the name so i can just give it any name so example or we can call this auto.csv right and i keep it as write byte as f then i can now write it in so f dot write and i'll pass in my response dot content so this is how to work with it so if i go back here and i'll run the file again so now we have our autos.csv file which is the same file we had here so that is the first method in which we can use to download files in Python, right? So I can just create a function from this and I'll call it as a download file and I'll just pass in the URL that I want to download and let's say the file name that I want to use. And then I can just go with the same thing as I have here. I'll copy this and then I'll make it into a function so that we can use it over and over again. And then I'll change this one, right? let's take off this and to make it better i can just say i can just give it in the format of a function and say that if there uh, specify that if the response dot status code is equal to 200 that means that it's successful as we saw here if it is successful then i want to download it right but if it's not just tell me that it was not successful so if it's successful, then 
else we can just say we can just uh, uh, download view something like that something like that so this is a simple function that we have created and with this function we can now apply it right so i can simply use this function over so download file and i can pass in let's say the url that we have and i can also pass in the file name that i want to use so let's keep it the file name like so auto2.csv if i save it let's hide these two because we don't need them anymore so then we can now run the function perfect and you can see that hopefully uh, so this was the file and this was the name so let's run it again so here is the name of the file right and then we can just run our file so this is it, right? So this is the name of the function that we created. It's supposed to be showing here, but it's not showing. So what is the error? So the reason it's not showing is because we are supposed to pass this file name into here so it is actually doing the work but it's replacing this right so let's go back again and now we see that we have the auto 2 here right so that is how to download a file using request now let's quickly move through from this option to our second alternative using we get right so we can also use we get to help us with that which is using we get which we install so we just go with import we get and then with we get you can just go with we get dot download and as you can see there is download you have to pass in the url the output and the bar so i can switch to my terminal here which is the same location that we have ipython and then let's import we get then if i go with help we get you can see the various things we can do with we get right So what are the things you can do? There is, we get, you can download, and then there are some other parameters, right? So there's a bar for the progress bar, and then there's an output which shows where you want to, the output file name, right, or directory. Perfect, so let's try it out. So, so try it out. We already have our URL, which is this one. So this is the URL, I made a mistake. So the URL is this, so, I can put the URL back. And in case I want to run it, I can just go with we get, right? And as you can see, you can just go with dot download. And I pass in the URL. And then you can also specify the other parameters, like whether you want to show a progress bar, which is as we saw, or not. So if I don't go with the progress bar and I go with it to download it, and you can see the name it gave to it, right? Perfect. I, in case I wanted the progress bar, I can just go back with this, go with bar, and then with the bar, I can specify that, okay, we get that there is bar adaptive. Right, there is bar adaptive. And then I can, if I save it, you see it's the same, but if I change it from bar adaptive to thermometer and I run it, you see how it has changed. This is 100% at the beginning, but the thermometer doesn't show that 100%, right? That is how to use we get. You can also specify the output where you want it to be with the out, the name that you want to give it. So let's give it like say cas.csv. And then if I run it, now it is saved as cas.csv. So these are the ways you can actually download a file from GitHub, right? Apart from git clone let's see how to use the same thing inside the terminal so i'll just exit from here and then i'll just go with my terminal so i already have we get inside the terminal you can the we get here in case you don't have it in case you're on a different operating system like 
like Linus or Macintosh, you can just go with my brew install or apt install, right? And I think uh, app get you can also do app get. I think in most Linux systems there is we get already. But if you don't have it, that is how to install it. So I already have we get. If I go with that dash help, you can see this is more powerful than the Python package, right? Because this is the actual package that the Python file is based on. So this has more features and you can do so many things. So let's see some of them, right? So in case I want to download a file, so let's go back again to here and pick a different file. We don't want to use this. So as the name goes, I want to pick something like, let's say German credit and I'll click on raw to get that particular part. I'll copy this one and then I'll come back to my terminal, right? And in case I want to run it, I can just go with my widget, right? Then I'll just pass in the file or the parts, right? Without any stuff. So if I pass in widget, by just going with widget without anything, with the, you get it downloaded, which is very cool. And it gives you information about the HTTP request that was sent and where it is saving to, which is quite cool. And then some progress bar. Very nice, right? In case you don't want to see the progress bar, you can just go with my quiet. If I go with quiet, there is a quiet mode. It will not show the, it will not show all of this information, right? This is very useful in case you are running in Azure, Azure DevOps pipeline and don't want to get errors because of locks. So if I run it, it has saved it. And if I go back here, the file has been saved, right? See that there's one here and two. I can also make it instead of quiet mode. I can also go with my verbose mode, right? There is verbose, which is verbose, which is the default one. There's also NV, which is no ver verbose, but it's going to return where it's downloaded it from, right? as you could see here, but not as more information as the non verbos So NV is non verbos V means verbos Q means quiet. So what if you also want to save it to a particular directory? So let me create a directory and let's go that's my data store, right? And I want to save the file here. So how do you do that? So I just go back again to the same thing we did and I'll just before my URL, I will just pass in dash P for par for the part that I want to save it to or the which I want to save it to and I'll call it as data store, right? And I can give it any name or I can just leave it like that. So if I go with this and I run it, now it's going to save it here, saving to data store, right? So if I go back to my data store, that our file is here. So that is how to save it to a particular part, right? You just specify dash P and then the URL that you want to download from. So these are some of the ways you can actually uh, download files. You can also use curl to also download, right? And then in case you want to use curl, it's also very simple. Just go with curl, then there is O dash L and then dash O for uh, yeah, and then the path, right? So the particular path you want to download to, which is, or not the particular path, but the URL that you want to download to. So this is another way you can use to download using curl, right? So I've shown you three different or four different methods. You have seen how to use curl to download a file. You have seen how to use widget, the command line version, and we have seen how to use widget the Python version and then request, right? So these are some of the ways you can use. So thank you for watching and then see you another time. So these are all the codes. So you can also do some more. You can even mirror pages with widgets. And then for Python, you can just use this option. You can also use retrieve to help you with this, like uh, not retrieve, but your request. And then you can also use curl, right? So thank you for watching. See you another time. Stay blessed. Bye.